So YouTube, welcome to our channel. Uh, uh, it's been a long time and today I am going to talk about UniBasic programming or what you call it as a big basic. So uh, this is again a very uh, useful and old programming language which is still being used in most of the uh, business applications and uh, so today uh, we are talk we are going to talk about the eval eval is another a keyword in UniBasic which is used in UniQuery so it allows you to define a virtual attribute expression for the current query only so uh, instead of you know writing a dictionary item you can simply use uh, any any query uh, any expression right uh, in in, a, in your UniQuery and run that okay so we are going to uh, see different types of uses of eval so trust me eval is very useful uh, and it can do the things that you want to do through through dictionary or through programs okay so uh, so this is what I am going to use the clients file so I have this clients file so if you install uh, <coughs> UDT software from rocket software uh, by default uh, these uh, these these programs these files are already present and you can use them for your uh, learning purpose okay so this is my file so there are a lot of uh, other attributes in this client file but uh, we are going to use like uh, let's say name company address city state okay so um, yeah so we have this country number and everything so what we are going to do is we are going to manipulate this and see how we can use eval uh, for our purpose so before that, if you have not subscribed to our channel, uh, I request you to please subscribe because uh, it does not cost you at all. And if you subscribe, that is encourages us to uh, do such uh, stuff. Okay. So let's start. And uh, what we are going to see and what we are going to learn is here what I'm going to explain here. So uh, let's say uh, you know. Uh, let's, so for example, if you are doing a simple listing uh, with a name or a city or let's say a country or an address okay it is going to list out the name city country you know address but then uh, if you want to do certain condition you know right away you can do using the eval expression so for example if you want to do list clients uh, name and with uh, city city is equal to uh, with uh, with city and uh, with city equal to at this moment you can also uh, accept a, an input okay so you can directly uh, use the query to enter an input uh, when you run this query and for this query uh, you can uh, run using the input uh, using the input from the user okay so uh, what you have to do is we are going to list a client uh, with uh, with certain city only and that city i want to enter while running the query so that you can do using the eval that is one of the most useful uh, feature of eval okay so let's say i want to list name and then city <coughs> with city equal to and any eval expression uh, is uh, must be you know quoted in a single quote or a double quote okay so, uh, so eval and then what you have to do is uh, you have to accept the value so enter enter the city that you want to run it for and then if you run this now see it is asking for a city right when you run the query okay so let's say I want to list out only the names of the clients uh, from let's say uh, Paris okay so if I do this if I, if I enter Paris here so you see only the clients with the uh, with the city Paris are being listed so right away you are running from the query itself so so if you see this if I run it again I can enter any other uh, let's say Bristol or anything okay so if you do this all the clients from the city Bristol are listed so this is one of the most useful uh, uh, tool uh, a feature of eval that you can use accept column value as an input which you can query uh, run directly from the unit query okay let's try to put some condition and try to run uh, let's say so this is our uh, this is our file there are other attributes also so I'm just uh, trying to play with that 
So let's say list clients, list clients uh, name and city, and let's say I, I, I want to uh, <coughs> uh, display uh, if uh, the city which is inside the uh, USA or not. Okay, so I can put a condition here, right? Uh, so on the country, I can put a condition. So if country uh, is equal to so always remember you have to put eval first and then any expression you have to put in a double quotes okay so uh, this is what you have to do then uh, then what you have to do is uh, yeah so what you have to do is okay so eval and then it's not going from here why okay so i'll just close this yeah so uh eval and then so if country is uh let's say usa okay so if country i want to only focus on usa if i if, if country is usa then only display city otherwise else what do we want to print we want to print foreign so if it is not from usa it, we will print foreign okay so this is what we are going to print so see what is happening so if if the city is uh this is a city and then the foreign so like any any country which is not usa it's is printed as foreign so better if i do this uh with country as well then i think you can understand better so i'm also displaying the country and then i'm putting this expression yeah so if you see now what is happening so if the country is uh if the country is usa you see here then it is printing the city and if it, if the country is not usa then it is printing foreign okay that's what my condition says so we can put a condition here, you know, that's what we can do. We can do a lot of other things like, you know, because uh, you can also uh, define a uh, column header. You can also join the two values from the two columns. Okay. For example, if the client has a first name and a last name. Okay. Let's say if a client has a first name and it also has a last name, then and also we have a, uh, we want to join them. Okay. Let's just check the first name and last name. So now what we want to do is we want to let's say join them. Okay, so <clears throat> so let's say I want to have a full name. Okay, so how do I have that? So eval and then uh, L name, which is a first name, first name, then I'm concatenating it with a space. I'm putting I'm putting a space and then I'm putting a last name. Okay, and then this, these two are concatenated now what I can do is I can give it a, a header name like uh, let's say full name okay right so if I do like this so missing code okay of course something is missing so I'll just uh, uh, close this so this is my eval expression which must be quoted properly then uh, this is my column header that I'm giving now if you see uh, one second so something is wrong so list client name f name l name eval f name and I'm, I'm appending with last name ah uh, last name yeah sorry so there was no double quote here and then i'm putting a header okay so this is what i'm doing so now see the first name is paul and last name is cash siglon okay uh, and both of them are concatenated and i have given a header here as a full name now, now this became a virtual attribute okay so these are the things you can do with uh, with with eval also uh, you can uh, what you can do is you can uh, do expression with a with a attribute like let's say you have a phone number right so let's list the client let's say name city phone that's called num okay phone number so we have a phone number so if you want to put a condition 
if the phone number is uh, uh, not of a certain length then we want to put a message or something like that okay so let's say uh, list finds a name city uh, so we want to find out the length of the phone number that, that directly also you can do in the ul itself so you just have to use the length expression so any expression that you do in the dictionary or i type descriptor that you can do here so this is my phone number all you have to give the uh, <clears throat> attribute name and then uh, as uh, and now you just get, uh, give it some header like the uh, phone length or something like that okay so if you do this what is happening so something is wrong here of course the header should be uh, you know quoted because that uh, system does not know what is this phone length okay so if i do this now see the phone number is coming along with the phone length so i'll also uh, put the phone number so that you can see uh, the uh, the phone number as well so now see the phone number is printed along with its length okay so these kind of calculation you can do in fact you can do some or you can do a lot of other calculations so i'm just giving you some examples to understand what uh, eval can do okay so uh, in fact you can also put more conditions here like you know uh, like uh, if if length of phone number is not uh, valid so something if it is not uh, is greater than 10 or something like then only valid or then uh, put valid valid right else invalid or something like that you know because if any of the uh, length of the phone number is less than 10 or something and then put invalid okay so these kind of things you can do uh, with with a phone uh, with I am putting a header here column column HTG then uh, phone check or something like that you know to see what is happening now now these are all valid phone numbers so if any of the phone number is less than 10 digit then it will be shown as invalid so those kind of things manipulations you can do with uh, with uh, eval okay so this is already being done if you if you check in your system check your check the VOCs you will find a lot of eval entries are there okay search in your VOC uh, with eval you will find out a lot of uh, eval expressions already being used in your system so i'm just trying to give you a better way to work and do something good okay so in fact you can also put uh, directly uh, uh, in your uh, voc and uh, run some query and uh, instead of typing it multiple times so you just need to write a paragraph so you want to say list clients uh, name with name so you can let's say you are accepting uh, uh, entry from here right so enter name okay so I want to list out these names only okay so yeah so if I do like this so that will be you know put into your UC. now you can directly run this from the uh, name itself you don't need to type the whole uh what is this client query this was the name so you can directly run let's say call if i did call okay so if i may not match exactly so there are no clients with that name so i have to give the complete name of course so if i give like this so how you take this any 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 name you want okay so like this you can do uh let's say dot x2 enter name so if i give now any name from here i'm just giving you an example that you can use it with so let's say this name okay if i give this name uh okay so it should be uh in the in course i guess so let's just modify our uh voc entry and try to make it better so this is my uh, okay with 
uh, name uh, with name instead of which we just put city here because that may not mismatch well enter city okay right so now if i run this okay so so now city let's say if i put uh bristol okay now see the city bristol only it is coming if i run it again with let's say paris so all the france of paris is coming so you can directly put them in a in a in a unique query and in a, in a voc so you just need to run this query and you can make uh, a better way of uh, running queries so this is how eval can be useful and uh, uh, remember it can only be used in the ecl type u which is unibasic so uh, this is how i, I found it useful and uh, i thought it must be uh, <clears throat> a way to uh, make your work better and if you think this is useful please uh, share with your friends or with other unibasic or pick basic developer and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you <clears throat>